my bed. Oh, oh no! It just took my freaking shoe off. Give me my shoe back. Oh, don't wear anything nice when you're bushwhacking for brook trout. Nothing. I mean, nothing. I haven't so much as seen a minnow in any of this. So, I'm getting fairly skeptical here. I'm gonna find anything. <sighs> she just gotta keep going and trying. You never know what you're gonna find. And that's the whole point of brook trout fishing. Keep going and keep them going and keep looking until you find something. So that's what we're gonna do. There we go. About time I found a brook trout. Oh, beautiful little guy, huh? Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a better one. Oh, I missed him again. Had him twice. Had him twice. Oh, that's going to be trouble. And he just wiped it again. Oh, come on. Three times. That's five times he's hit and I've missed. There we go. That's a big one. Is it a fall fish or a brookie? That's a brookie. you the second time around. Second time around. <clears throat> oh my god, look at the spots on that guy. Oh my goodness. Look at the red spots on that guy. Holy crap. Oh my god, buddy. Boy, I gotta tell you, exploring brook trout streams can be totally awesome. I'm here in the middle of the Adirondacks. I hiked about three quarters of a mile to get to uh, a particular stream that I've fished before, but much further upstream where it's very, very different. And uh, I'm much further downstream now, and it's, it's very slow, barely even moving water. But uh, upstream, I found smallish brookies up to like maybe six, seven, eight inches. Uh, and today we're catching them upwards of 12 inches um, just by exploring new areas, you know. Um, I definitely encourage you, you know, get out there, find a blue line on a map and start exploring. That's how we find these guys. And today we're catching some beautiful brook trout. Um, I will warn you, you know, it's May in the Adirondacks. You can probably see the flies all over the place. Um, they're really bad. Um, so... Wearing a buff, keeping completely covered. I'm actually not even wearing that great of a shirt. I want something that's tight to the wrists today. Um, but these bugs will kill you out here. So uh, if I didn't have the proper bug cover, I wouldn't even be able to fish out here today and I'd be missing out on all of this. I mean, this is absolutely amazing out here. Um, we're gonna keep fishing and hopefully we're gonna find some more big fish. Wow. Oh man, they freaking chased it for forever. That was unreal. I had multiple fish going for it too. Oh, there we go. Oh, dig, 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 dig. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, you're a little bit bigger than I wanted for the no net deal here, huh? Whoa! 
Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! I need you out here, buddy. Holy crap, dude! <laughs> dude! What the heck was that, brother? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put you in the net. Come on! Oh my goodness, you do not want to behave! Oh my goodness, you do not want to behave. Missed him. <laughs> ah, here we go. Ah, bugs. Oh. Oh. Right, let's lay it in here. I knew that was going to be fast. <laughs> I knew it. Oh my gosh. God, you guys are beautiful. The fly is out. Look at that beautiful freaking fish, man. Oh my god, they don't get any more beautiful than that. Holy crap. <laughs> Man, this is freaking fun. Out here in the middle of nowhere, catching all these beautiful native brook trout on fly, on spin. Oh my goodness. And there he goes. Oh, baby. Quick release. Alright, I think we are just about out of here. Just about out of here. The bugs are driving me nuts. The sun is getting low. Alright, that was beautiful. I'm done. This is Brian Spinner from the White Dog Trail Company. We're wrapping our day. We've had an absolutely fabulous day on a brook trout stream. Some area that we've never explored before. We're deep in the Adirondacks. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed the video, and I hope you'll join us next time. If you're interested in a guided trip, definitely let us know. Click the book now, and uh, best of luck to you. We'll see you on the water.